Hey guys, I am back from my Christmas break, feeling completely recharged, energetic, ready to jump into some videos again, at a fun time with my family. Let me know how your holiday season is going. Oh, and I have a question of the day. What holiday do you celebrate at this time of year? Do you celebrate Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa? What do you celebrate? Let me know. And if you have any cool traditions that you do at this time of year, let us know in the comments. Oh my goodness, we could, oh, this is gonna be so fun, guys. I love that we are like this tight-knit art community, but we are all so different, come from different places, and just, we get along. I think it's so cool. So yeah, share it down below. I'll tell you my tradition after I tell you what we're doing. Today, I am showing you a bunch of artwork that I have made throughout the year, and I never shared it on YouTube. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you might recognize some of these, such as this drawing that I just did in Procreate. It is more of a folk art illustration with a floral, botanical background, limited color palette. Now, what you're gonna see in this video is a lot of experimentation. I'm gonna show you a lot of different styles, and that's because I don't believe in sticking to one style. I don't wanna limit myself. I just do a lot of weird stuff, because art is fun, I wanna have fun. Like this piece here, I started it, changed my mind a lot, and then you'll see I completely dropped it, moved on, didn't finish it, but uh, Procreate recorded it, and I was like, hey, I'm gonna show these people that I mess around a lot and I don't finish so many projects that I start. Like what you see on YouTube, that is like finished stuff, but behind the scenes, there is so much stuff that is far from perfect. I mean, even the stuff you see on YouTube is far from perfect, but that's besides the point. Anyway, the stuff in this video, yeah, some of it is like, I'm proud of it, but never put it in a video, but some of it is like, I don't think I would have ever put it in a full-length video. I'm not like super proud of it. You'll see a couple things. Now, this fern here, I'm really happy about. Oh, but I have to tell you guys about my tradition on Christmas. So when I was a kid, my mom always made green eggs and ham every Christmas morning. So sometimes we'd like take a vote and do you do the green eggs and ham before you open presents? or after. <laughs> so yeah, we would add like green food coloring to scrambled eggs because like you can't, it's hard to make dippy eggs green, you know, that'd be kind of hard, but we do scrambled eggs. And um, yeah, we still do that as adults because why would we get rid of such a fun childhood tradition, right? So I hope you guys tell me some of your traditions that you do around the holidays. And if you open presents at Christmas, if that's what you celebrate, do you open yours on Christmas Eve or Christmas morning? Because my husband and I have a debate over this. His family always did Christmas Eve. My family always does, blah, blah, blah. My family always does Christmas morning. So <laughs> we had to negotiate when we were gonna open our presents and it ended up being Christmas morning, but we did one on Christmas Eve. <laughs> this fern. This is what I'm painting. It's a fern with my Prima watercolors. I discovered those this year and love using them. I decided to do some biological illustrations this year. And here's the reason why. I actually graduated with a degree in biology and I never went to school for art. I love science and I actually intended to be a dentist. I wanted to go to dental school, but near the end of my bachelor's degree, I started doing some like research in a lab, got into doing biological illustration, and then like one thing led to another and I started taking the art path. And then I went back to science for a while and did some microbiology work after I graduated. But then I went back to art and yeah, I just, <laughs> I love science. So I decided to fulfill that craving. I decided to incorporate it into my artwork and it's really fun. I enjoy it a lot. So yeah, 
I think art is beautiful because you can express your other hobbies through what you create and that is beautiful like if you love sports you can draw sports players and like whoa best of both worlds so anyway that's my little side rant but this is the piece you can see the anatomy is labeled here if you want to see more of these go look at my instagram follow me over there because i share a lot of stuff that i don't share on youtube all right the next piece that i did was this fox and i drew it in procreate i actually made this very recently over the holidays because we went to my husband's parents house for christmas and dorvin has a huge family he is one of nine siblings so he's got like four four or five sisters and they all like arts and crafts and we get along really well five sisters yes so around christmas we just kind of sat around the fire talked did our arts and crafts and it was like a wonderful relaxing time so i made this little fox and it pretty much conveyed all the things i was feeling because i had my coffee my tea you know whatever and i just felt so warm and happy so yeah i made a little fox and it's warm and happy too look at the little hearts on the feet <laughs> and it says stay cozy speaking of cozy what do you do when you're cold in the winter do you stay inside and just like sip warm drinks do you like to play in the snow depending on where you live or are you one of those people that are gonna comment and be like no I sit on the beach <laughs> okay here is another piece and this is a silk moth that I painted I've been doing a lot of moth pieces this year, and I'm enjoying it. This piece is my favorite one because look at the gold paint. When you turn it, it reflects. So pretty. I had so much fun doing this piece. And I decided to make the background on this one fairly simple. It's like a bunch of blurred out plants and some fireflies. And I felt like... It drew the right amount of attention to the moth's wings because they're pretty intricate. And I made this while I was hanging out with my friend Tanya. Hi, Tanya, if you're watching this. <laughs> I love you. So, yeah, we just had a fun night painting. She painted some sunflowers and I did this moth. And yeah, this one is available in my Etsy shop. So, yeah, because I can just have prints. It's okay. But... I think I'm going to continue this moth series in 2019. That will be a goal. I want to get better at it and just have more fun with it. Oh, you should let me know what your art goals are for 2019. I want to know. And, or if you don't really make like New Year's resolutions. I don't really make resolutions. I just like implement the change when I want to. But sometimes I do have yearly goals. Anyway, let me know what your 2019 art goals are or just some resolutions if you have some okay this is a rabbit that i drew in procreate and i was shooting toward like the book cover illustration style so it's like not super busy you'll see that there, there's like some blank space so like if i were to ever <laughs> make a book about a rabbit i could insert the title in the blank spaces or something i don't know I just thought it was kind of fun and um, I don't know my dream is to illustrate a book cover one day so we'll see um, it's just a little style thing I was playing with <laughs> I did a lot of messing around and I kind of like the look of the vintage rabbit kind of thing so I hope you enjoy it too something really interesting that I've noticed about my art in 2018 is I always thought that like I never drew animals but looking back I drew like creatures that I made up different moth species that I made up um, this rabbit here I've actually drawn quite a few animals so yeah and I did my animals and clothing series so now I'm, I'm just kind of shocked that I always feel like I never draw or paint animals because that seems to be a big theme in 2018 <laughs> let me know also Another comment of the day, what's your favorite thing to paint? And do you like digital or traditional more? Let me know. You have lots of questions to answer, but I love getting to know you guys. 
and I have a lot of new people coming into my channel lately and I want to get to know these new people too so welcome to the art family if you're new I hope you enjoyed this compilation of stuff that I have not shown you guys on YouTube be sure to check out my Instagram if you want to see stuff oh I changed it blue too I thought it was really fun so I did both versions anyway that's all um I hope you have a good day bye guys see you soon in another video